Hello, everybody. Welcome back to another edition of... Where we bring you only the finest of vintage test instruments from days gone by. Today in the Retro Spotlight, we have a classic from the 80s, the venerable HP 3468A Bench Multimeter. It's a beauty. Hewlett Packard has been in the test instrument genre for a long, long time. And in the 80s, they were reigning supreme. This was one of their classic bench meters, the 3468A. They called this a high performance bench multimeter with the bench in mind. This one was definitely designed for your bench. Now that being said, it did come with that handy carrying handle because they thought it was portable too. Well, back in the 80s, I guess anything with a handle was portable. Beautiful LCD display boasting five and a half digits with five separate functions. Ooh, it was ahead of the time. This particular bench meter was manufactured back in the early 80s, probably 81 to 83. Uh, should know more once we take a look on the inside. Really nice soft touch buttons for the time. We have that one style of rocker for the on off. Not really a heavy meter per se, but it was definitely designed for the bench. One major caveat with the 3468, and that is the fact that unlike most multimeters that have calibration pots, trims, what have you, mechanical ways of calibrating directly on the main board, this meter unfortunately has software calibration. Well, unfortunately, fortunately, however you look at it, basically you're gonna measure the difference between a reference and whatever it's reading. Uh, so it's a good thing, it's a bad thing. There's a whole issue on this about battery replacement and not losing your calibration routine once you replace that battery. But hey, that's a whole other video. Taking a front look at the bezel, you can see those nice soft touch buttons. Even back in the 80s, they knew how to design a bench meter. And this did both the two and the four wire uh, sensing for resistance, so very powerful. So here we go, let's turn on the meter. And right away we're greeted with that self-test OK, meaning it has verified its internal calibration routines and all is good. By default, it is going into volts DC and look at those liquid crystal digit display. Oh man, hard to believe this is 1980s. There was no rel on this bench meter. So right now I've got those probe masters together and we do have a tiny bit of resistance. So you'll have to equate that out of any reading. Have it hooked up to a 5.000 voltage reference and look at that 40 years later and it is still perfectly in spec. Just out by one count. Amazing. Taking a look at resistance right now, this is capable of both the two and four wire sensing resistance. And look at that 1.000 kilo ohm spot on 40 years later. Let's try 10 kilo ohm. Oh man, that's hard to beat. 100? Yeah, so you can tell the amazing job that Hewlett Packard did when they designed this meter 40 years later, and it's darn near perfect. Now, compared to other bench meters of the era, you could say the HP was a little on the big side. Definitely, it looks that way when I've got the other two here on top, doesn't it? Another neat feature, too, is the back of the 3468A has a lowdown. Basically, all of your program commands right there. Output formats, fuse ratings, error messages, measurement characteristics. It was all handy dandy on the underside of the meter. And yes, made in the good old US of A. So here we are underneath this gorgeous made in USA board. Look at that. Now we have a big piece of shielding here. And if we take off that shielding, we're greeted with the analog side of the board. And the first thing you might notice, you might notice is this battery over here. Yeah, look at that. It's a three volt lithium battery. It's a hybrid and it's used to maintain the calibration data in memory. Um, this and a bunch of uh, small signal relays. So 
the analog to digital part of the conversion is all custom HP and it's pretty intense looking package. Now, as I said before, this does have a history of when the battery fails, you lose all of your calibration data. Well, I did pick up one of these guys and I'm debating right now if I'm gonna change this uh, in the short term or not. Did a quick voltage test. We're still at well over three volts, which is what you wanna see on that battery. But you know, still case of safe and sorry. I'm still deciding. What do you think? Check out that display. Oh man, oh man. 12 character alphanumeric. LCD liquid crystal digital display assembly. And those here are your two Cobb style drivers connected to the main board via this ribbon cable right here. So, oh, just looking at that, man. I can see Olivia Newton John right now. Over here, we've got that long arm for the on off rocker switch, goes all the way to the back. Love it. By the way, this meter featured something called the Hewlett Packard Interface Loop, or the HPIL, as it was affectionately called. Basically, a two wire interface that permitted communications from one test instrument to another. Oh, and a little closer look at those reed relays, and they're oh, I love that scarlet red. Take a look at that HP processor, HP part number IQ F70067. Um, this is a RAM only version, I believe of the 8048, and it contains 128 bytes of RAM. Hard to believe how times have changed. Firmware for this is contained in an external ROM. So very, very cool. And this particular HP has a revision of C. Yeah, some great quality here. Here's another look at that battery, which I am still debating. Do I replace it or don't I? Uh. And the attention to detail as well on this main board is extraordinary. Extremely exquisite soldering through hole components that are oh, there for the long term. And check out that big power transformer. Oh, nice. And look at that. We have four different taps here so we can easily change the power output depending on the country cool and of course hp gave us a service manual yes a complete service manual not a how-to not a quick user guide no a service manual for the digital multimeter 3468a and man this thing was incredible incredible i mean check it out everything everything about this meter has probably the best schematics as well I've ever seen in any manual. I mean, it's unbelievable. It's unbelievable. Parts list, of course. Well, hey, that's a given. Isolating faults, theory of operation, miscellaneous troubleshooting, uh, you name it, it was all here. And the schematics are incredible, incredible. I mean, Literally, I fold some of these out and they're over four feet in length. It just goes on and on and on. Wow. Ultimately, there's no doubt about it. This gorgeous 300,000 count, five and a half digit bench meter from HP has stood the test of time. Hey, if you see one, pick it up. You'd be surprised at just how good it is. Thanks for taking this trip down Retro Tech Vintage Memory Lane. You, me, and the HP. 3468A.